Students in our area are getting ready to go back to school. At the same time, the country is healing from the events in Charlottesville. The violence, the racism that happened over the weekend seems to be all that people are talking about right now. And Michael Quandra explains how teachers are getting ready to have some pretty tough conversations. More than 800 teachers and staff with the Friendship Public Charter Schools got prepared and excited for a new school year. But in recent days, there seemed to be very little to cheer about. Uh, it was sad, um, sad more than anything. Teachers say the tragic events that went down in Charlottesville, killing Heather Heyer and hurting so many others, may have an effect on our children who are heading back to the classroom. The central office is thinking about how to approach this and that every teacher is conscious enough to understand this is a touchy subject in our communities and that it needs to be discussed, but in a responsible and uh, understanding and sympathetic type of way. If it's happening on TV, we should be able to talk about it as a group, as a family, you know, in class and just be able to speak our minds. Yet now students we talk to are curious and they want to talk about this situation. But Eric Blood says it has to be done the right way. Well, you have to obviously allow them to feel like they have a safe space to be able to express their opinions without being attacked. You have to make sure that people are okay and people are not affected by what's going on in the outside world before we focus on what we can do for the outside world. While some educators know that talking about and even teaching about our country's dark past with racism can be touchy at times, they say it's necessary now more than ever. Teaching American history in a time period where it looks like things that have happened in our past are rearing their ugly.